Welcome to the Bob's UI tutorial for Dark Age of Camelot. We'll start out by going to the download section of the Bob's UI webpage. You can find the link in the description below. We're going to be doing the current version of the game, which is going to be the second section down. Uh, and you have two options, minimal or complete. I always suggest going with the complete so you have everything that you need. You have a couple different file formats to choose from. Um, 7 zip, self extracting, or just a normal zip. Uh, my suggestion is always going to be to go with the normal zip, um, but that's what we're, our tutorial will be using today. So you download that zip file right here, and once it gets downloaded, go to your downloads directory. You'll have the file that will literally say Bob's UI, and it will say complete in the parentheses, so you know you have the right one. Open this up, and you'll see that you have a custom folder here. Now what we need to do is we need to extract this to your UI folder in your Dark Age of Camelot directory. So depending on where you installed it, if you installed it in the default path, uh, it should be in your C drive, program files, x86, and then in an EA directory here. Unfortunately, I did not install mine there, so it'll be a little bit different for me, but the same process applies no matter what the location is. So for me, my Dark Age Camelot, as you can see here, is on my D drive. We'll click into the Dark Age Camelot directory and find our UI folder. Select that, and then click our OK to have it extracted. Now, if you used any other type of UIs in the past, this that will already mean that you have a custom folder. This You'll have to allow to overwrite it. Uh, otherwise, if you haven't, uh, it should go in there without any issue. But if you do get a prompt for overwriting, just say yes and overwrite all. So once you've got that installed there, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your Windows Explorer again and go back to that same custom folder. So Dark Age of Camelot, UI, Custom. And in here, there is a EXE program called Options Chooser. This is where you're going to go to make all the changes for your UI. I highly suggest that you take this option chooser and create a uh, shortcut on your desktop. It just makes things a lot easier for any time that you do want to change it, depending on how long you're going to be running it. But you just run this program, and this will load up the different uh, options that you have with the UI. Now, as you can see, it gives you a, in alphabetical order, uh, directory structure here for pretty much everything in the game. Um, there's really a lot of power that you can do. You can change the main menu. And notice as you select an item, it does give you information on the right hand side. It'll give you um, different examples of the different UIs so you can really decide. Um, ones that, you know, I really like to change are my compass. Um, they have a couple different styles. And um, what I really like is the round. Um, but you can get a bunch of different styles that'll look all different. So here's a round style there. Here's a non-round one. And you can just go through here and find all these different versions to really customize that single compass however you'd like it. Now, once you define one that you like and you decide on it, all you have to do is click on the gray check mark to the side to the left side. When you click on that, it's going to ask you to run a file. You say run. Once it processes its changes, you'll notice that check mark has now turned to green. That means that it will be what's used when the next time that you load up your system. So you, with all these, I'm going to move it back to what I had before, just because I do like that. Um, another big one is uh, button skins. These are for all the different buttons in the game, and as you can see, there's multiple skins, as well as some of the skins have different color options, and those will have their own directories as you see here. But as I click on them, it gives you all the examples on the right hand side, so you can really get an idea of what all these different ones are going to look like. Um, so button skin is definitely one that uh, a lot of people like to do. Um, you can do your quick bars, which I find that these are very uh, hard to kind of understand what the style is like, but just realize that pretty much all those, the, the background grid will not be there. And for our healers like myself, 
one of the biggest things that this offers is the Healer Helper, which has a bunch of different styles, and is basically just an interactive group menu that you can use to follow people's mana, endurance, and hit points. Very, very handy. Um, one that we just recently, a uh, guildmate of mine, discovered, which is really great, is if you go into the exterior overlay, into the transparent, you can create uh, these different styles. Now, right now I have mine set to the cube, um, but one that we found is that you can set it to descending. So basically when they're full health, this entire box will be red, and as they lose health, it'll go down, as well as with a number representation as well. So that one I do like, and I'm gonna turn that one on, and boom. Once I have all my options set, everything's good where I want it, and I made sure that my green check marks are next to the different options that I want, I can just exit out of this program. You don't have to worry about saving. Each time you click the gray check mark and run that program, that's doing the change for you and saving it. So you don't have to worry about saving. You just close it, and then you open up your client. So once you get into your client, all you have to do is go into your options section here and into the interface section and make sure that you switch this from any skin that you have to custom. Once it's custom and you hit accept, the next time that you log in, as we see here, all your different changes that you did with your option chooser are now taken into effect. So as we can see here, not only did I change my quick bars, but at one point I also did my spell icons, uh, my ping and uh, a network connection uh, window has changed. All the buttons are different and it really allows you some more customization. I haven't completely figured out all of them, but if you figure out some that we haven't shown here, please leave a comment below. If this has helped you in any way, drop us a like. I appreciate your view. Have a good one.